Hello learner, I am teacher Jonathan. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. In grade 4, Science and Technology, on our lesson for today is on air pollution under air pollutants. And in our previous lesson, we defined what is air pollution. And John, maybe you can remind us what we said is air pollution. We said air pollution is the introduction of harmful substances to the air. And we gave example of these harmful substances. Now, in pairs, can we discuss some of these harmful substances? Victoria, what have you discussed with your partner? Some of these harmful substances we said are like smoke. Uh -huh. Who else can remind us what they have discussed? Some of these harmful substances, you've said this word, Tom, like dust. So these harmful substances, we call them air pollutants because they are polluting the air. So in short words, we can say air pollutants Air pollutants are harmful substances which pollute the hair. And you have given me examples. Examples you've said include of Examples of pollutants you've said include examples of pollutants include what have you said Victoria you said smoke you've also mentioned what John dust a sum of harmful Poly, uh, harmful substances that has been introduced in the atmosphere and we call them pollutants. Now, during break time, we went around our school compound and we saw or we visited some places. Now in our groups, I want you to tell me what we saw when we went to the school, around the school compound. When we went to our field, there was a lot of wind and we saw dust being blown away by the wind. Now my question is, was our field or the playground clean or polluted? From you, John, was our, clean, our, our playground clean or polluted? Our compound was polluted. That is correct. We also went around the toilets. Girls, you went to your toilets and boys went to their toilets. And when you walked around the toilets, you witnessed something. Maybe you didn't see it with your eyes, but you could smell with your nose. What did you smell? Was the environment around the toilet conducive for you or the smell was bad? From Jen and from Tom, what did you see or what did you smell around your toilets? The toilets were smelly. So if the toilets were smelly, we say there around them was polluted. That is correct. We went also around our kitchen in the school compound and we saw cooks doing good work. But there was a lot of smoke because of the fire. There was a lot of smoke because of the firewood emitting smoke. And we say the smoke around the kitchen, was it polluting the air or it was clean? From you, Victoria, it was clean. And then the, finally, we came back to our class and we could see how the prefect had led the other girls and boys to arrange chairs properly and well knit class. So we saw and we say our class was well kept. So we say our class was clean. That is correct. Now, in our groups, I wonder as we discuss ways in which air is polluted around our school and even outside our school. 
In other words, in our community, in our groups, may we discuss how air is being polluted. So ways in which air is polluted. Ways air is polluted. Ways in which air is polluted in our environment. Ways in which air is polluted in our environment. What have you discussed, learners? You've discussed and said one way the air around us is polluted or in outside the school compound is polluted is when people burn tires and plastics. When people burn tires and plastics, the gas that is produced there is polluting the air. So we say when people burn, burning tires and plastics. When people burn tires and plastics, the smoke there pollutes the air. Correct. That is one good example on how air is being polluted around the environment. Another thing that you have discussed, Wangari, you've said when vehicles, they move and they emit smoke from the exhaust. The smoke is polluting the air because it is very smelly. Some of the smoke is smelly and even it is affecting our visibility. So we say vehicles emitting those gases are polluting the air. That is another example. Very good. So moving vehicles emitting Moving vehicles emitting gas, emitting gas or smoke, emitting smoke. When moving vehicles emit smoke, the smoke is affecting the air around us. So we say this is a pollutant because it is polluting the environment. That is correct. Another thing that you have discussed, Tom and your group, what have you discussed? In our homes, our parents, sometimes they use perfumes. Sometimes we use sprays to spray our agricultural produce or agricultural plants that we have planted in our farm. And when we use these chemicals, sometimes the chemicals will affect us. And we say they are polluting the environment around us and which this is air. So we call them sprays from farm chemicals. Sprays from farm chemicals. Correct. Another thing that is remaining, you've maybe not discussed, or maybe you are not sure whether it is also polluting the environment. Yes. When you go around the marketplaces, we have an industry there. And that industry is using a lot of energy and emitting gases. Those gases are also polluting the environment. So we say these are also pollutants. So industrial, industrial, waste gases. These are also pollutants. Who has not understood what we call air pollutants? We've said air pollutants are harmful substances which pollute the air around us. Then we have gone ahead and given examples of pollutants and we have mentioned smoke, dust, amongst others. And some of ways we see air being polluted in our environment. We walked with you to the uh, compound and we saw some vivid examples of how dust is being blown away by the wind and affecting our visibility. That was one way. In the kitchen, the smoke, because of the boilers cooking, they are emitting smoke, which is polluting the environment. Now, we went to the market and we saw industries also producing a lot of smoke. That gases, those gases are polluting the environment. These are just some 
but examples of ways in which air around our around us is being polluted an activity for us and an activity is an exercise an activity an activity for us to do kindly make sure you do this activity what name is given to things that make air dirty what name is given to things that make that make air dirty that is one number two number two discuss in your groups ways air is polluted discuss ways in which air is polluted discuss ways in which air is polluted and that marks the end of our lesson for today have a wonderful time bye bye